Measure the inner diameter of the cell and clean the base of the cell so that there are no soil grains. Apply the grease to the bottom plate of the permeability cell. To begin assembling the permeability cell, place the porous material on the bottom plate. Create a seal between these two components. Apply grease to the top plate of the permeability cell. After assembling, begin to fill the cell with soil uniformly. The soil height needs to be higher than the two ports on the side, but cannot be at the top of the cell. Place the porous material on top of the soil sample. Apply grease on the perimeter of the cap. Place the spring on the top cap and finish assembling the permeability cell. To begin the permeability constant head test, make sure all the valves are closed. Connect R1 to the top reservoir. C1 will be connected to the bottom port of the permeability cell. C2 will connect to the top port of the permeability cell. Turn on the valve and allow water to pass through and fill up into the upstream reservoir. There should be no air bubbles in any of the tubes. Open all the valves and allow the soil to saturate. Connect the two manometers to the permeability cell. Once you have achieved steady flow in the bottom reservoir, you are able to start taking measurements from the bottom base plate to the top base plate of the two reservoirs. The difference between these two heights is H. That is your total head difference. You are also able to measure discharge during this experiment. Manometer readings also need to be recorded between the two different ports on the permeability cell. Repeat your manometer readings, discharge readings, and the difference in total head H by changing the elevation of the upper chamber four more times.